Now that I have saved some money to build my dream home, I'm really confused about which estate company to approach. My friend had a bad experience with a particular estate agency after completing his payment and could not even get his title deed. This is serious. Thank you. My name is Oli. I'm from I'm a investment. I'm a set. Thank you. You know, I must say you came at a very right time. Really? I was thinking about houses. Great. What can your company offer me? EJ Investments can offer you a lot. We're unique in the market. Okay. We own our properties mm -hmm. and we ensure that they're developed with modern technologies. They're affordable and they're strategic locations. We don't just sell pieces of land, but we create settlements. What makes your company different from others? We're different from all real estate companies in the Gambia because what we have to offer is affordability, safety, and security. We ensure that you get a legal contract for when you pay your deposit. And within four weeks of paying your final settlement, we make sure you receive your title date. Four weeks? Four weeks. That's interesting. Yes. Now tell me, what real estate service you need? It's absolutely EJ, investment and real estate agency. The Gambia. Um, the chief of army staff, general officers here present, senior officers of the Gambia Armed Forces headquarters, and of course officers and soldiers of the Gambia Armed Forces, and also distinguished members of the press. And good afternoon, Ambassador. Allow me, on behalf of the Chief of Defense Staff, to extend our most profound thanks and appreciation to the Turkish government, and equally to the Turkish Armed Forces through you, for these invaluable military gifts that we received from your benevolent government. This is not the first time we've been receiving gifts in the form of military hardware from the Turkish government and of course the Turkish Armed Forces. The guest response over three decades, precisely you're talking of 89, when we forged a relationship with the Turkish Armed Forces. And the relationship is one that is characterized by mutual trust, understanding and, of course, high sense of cooperation between our two armed forces and by extension between our two governments and people. The relationship is one that is sustained and, of course, is mutual and, of course, more sustained over the years. The Turkish government and, of course, the Turkish armed forces, they've been a very reliable and very sustained partners in our endeavors to advance the collective aspirations of the armed forces to the next level. Allow me, Ambassador, to give me, assure you that these items will be put to good use because they would obviously enhance the operational readiness and capability of the armed forces in many ways. They came at the right time when the armed forces is going through a transformation process, restructuring and transformation process, and of course, this would enhance the operational readiness and competence of the armed forces in the discharge of their constitutional mandates and other assigned roles. Once again, Ambassador, please convey our sentiments and best wishes and prayers to your government for such a laudable initiative and, of course, get them. And the rest assured they will be put to good use. Once again, allow me, on behalf of the Chief of Defense Staff, to thank you most profoundly for having found time from your busy schedule to grace this occasion with your physical presence. You. It demonstrates the will and determination on your side. And of course, by extension, on the side of your government to meet the, 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 the developmental assistance and needs of the armed forces. We hope others could emulate this good example. Thank you once again, Ambassador. Thank you, Thank you very it's much. A pleasure. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Could you see it for uh, we've received, if you look at this, is just symbolic display on the floor. Um, it encompasses uniforms. So um, 5,000 uniforms. Okay, basically it's like 5,000 sets of uniforms. We have cartridges belt, which is about 1,359. Water bottles, about 5,000 water bottles. Uh, we have five mountains, basically, in other words, it provides accommodation for five individuals, and that is in the, in the quantity of 50. 
We've got about 10 mountains also. It accommodates 10 individuals, also 50. And of course, finally, we have 20 mountains. In other words, the way we operate as an armed force is we operate in different scenarios. There are instances when you may not deploy everybody at the same time. Each time individuals are deployed, you should be able to, be able to adequately provide for the accommodation needs. Hence, we have the five man tents, the ten man tents, and of course the twenty man tents. That's the way we operate in the military. You don't have to move everybody at the same time. The need is specified who should be moved at any given time. Hence, the need for the five man tents, ten man tents, and of course twenty man tents. This would definitely enhance the operational readiness and capability of the armed forces in no small ways. Thank you so much. Thank you.